What's cracking, guys? Omar Esau here, here with Coach Brian. Coach, how you doing? Great today. What are we doing? Today we're uh, uh, learning the power snatch. Okay. So we're going to do a quick tutorial on the basics of the power snatch. Yep. Uh, how to learn it what key things we're looking for, uh, and some troubleshooting tactics. Perfect, now, why this variation of the snatch, the power snatch, and why? Because you train not just athletes, but the top level athletes. For those, they might not be interested in, say, weightlifting, uh, but why for those that want to improve their athletic performance, why the power snatch is a good idea? Right, well, we, usually we teach the power snatch over the full squat snatch because it does require less mobility, and it is easier to learn. Yeah. So when we talk about a power snatch, we're referring to the depth in which that we catch it. Okay. So it's a, it's a lot more shallow of a squat depth when you catch it. Right. So again, that requires less mobility. It's a lot easier for a beginner to learn that. Um, and in terms of a, an athletic carryover standpoint, um, more power is generated from doing the power snatch because the bar moves in a, in a greater distance. Like you have to pull the bar higher yes. uh, to perform a power snatch than you do um, in the full, full squat snatch. So um, again, you're using slightly lighter weights, you're moving the bar at greater speeds, um, and there's better carryover to power development for an athlete. All right, so we are going to break down the power snatch into four key positions. Uh, regardless of um, like what coaching philosophy that you believe in, uh, where you learn the movements, there are you know, subtleties you know, ac across the world in the way that the Olympic lifts are coached, but uh, regardless of those differences, the best lifters in the world can perform these four key positions correctly. So if you can mimic these, if you can nail these four key positions, uh, you're on your way to um, performing the power snatch correctly and having a more pre um, repeatable and predictable result in the lift. So position number one, we call it the start position. Um, today we are gonna do the power snatch from the hang. So our start position will have the bar uh, roughly located at the knee um, for this start position. So in the start position we are looking for, number one, your shoulders in front of the bar. So can your shoulders be in front of the bar in the start position? Number two, can you maintain lordosis, which is the natural curvature of the lower back? Number three is the bar close to the body. So regardless of your body type, your size, or even you know, subtle differences in your snatch grip width, uh, you should have those three things present in your start position. All right. Um, position number two, we call it the pickup. And in this case, because we're doing the lift from a hang, the pickup only really refers to the first few um, degrees of movement or, or inches of movement. Um, and what we're looking for in a correct pickup is that the angle of the torso remains the same from that start position to that first few degrees where we initiate movement. So we call this a one-piece pickup. So if you can initiate movement with a one-piece pickup, keeping the angle of your torso the same as it was in the start position, and you can do it, keeping the arms straight and the bar close to the body, that's a correct start, uh, uh, correct pickup, which is the first key to initiating movement. Um, the third position, we call it the extension. This is where all the power is developed. Um, and the extension, some kind, sometimes called triple extension, would have the athlete uh, fully extending the ankle, the knee, and the hip. So if you can fully extend ankle, knee, and hip while keeping the arms straight and keeping the bar moving in a straight line close to the body, that is a correct extension position. And again, that's critical for developing power and the traje uh, trajectory of the bar. The fourth key position is the catch. So this occurs when the bar has been thrown overhead and you lock it out overhead. And for the correct uh, catch position, we're looking for alignment of the bar, shoulder, and ankle. You're looking for the head being inside and the arms locked. So this is the same you know, key points that we're looking for uh, in the overhead squat, actually. So a lot of similarities there. Uh, so again, we've got four key positions start position, pick up, extension, and catch, and we've got a few things that we look for in each position to perform it correctly. Perfect. All right, so the number one most common mistake that I see in a power snatch 
uh, actually occurs during the catch position uh, and it more or less relates to the timing of how the athlete catches the bar overhead. So more often than not in a beginner lifter after the bar is, is thrown overhead they usually catch it a little bit delayed. So you'll see the lifter land on the ground with both feet, uh, the bar is still kind of in transition and then they lock it out overhead in that order. So feet hit the ground, arms are soft still, they lock it out then force their head inside. That is uh, a missed time catch position. It's not very efficient, it's not very easy on the shoulders either. Uh, so in order to correct that common mistake, uh, we like the athlete to think of this audible cue. So when the feet hit the ground after the extension, so at the exact same time that the feet hit the ground, the lift is over. Look at that. The arm should be locked with the head inside at the exact same second. So if you can get the timing of the catch position down to when you hear your feet hit the ground, having your head inside with locked arms, you're going to have a more repeatable um, and efficient power snatch technique. Well guys, that's the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to like the damn video. Coach, anything you want to say in closing about the power snatch? Yeah, again, just take your time with the movement. Uh, not a bad idea to seek out a qualified Olympic weightlifting coach to help you with it. Uh, follow the sequence step by step. And as always, if you're having trouble getting into any of those key positions, it's probably due to a lack of mobility. So you're going to want to make sure that you're uh, mobile enough to move. Yeah. And not to mention that Coach Brian is actually also looking now at people's form on Instagram. So you can follow him on Instagram. You should. What's it? For sure. Uh, hit me up at B underscore Marsh 27. Uh, send me some vids. I'll be happy to critique if I can. And uh, yeah, we look forward to that. Yeah. B underscore Marsh 27. Guys, thanks for watching. We'll be seeing everyone in that next video. Peace.